Hi Gemini, welcome to your new moon in Taurus Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Gemini, we're looking at this new moon, which can be about new intentions, new beginnings. In Taurus can be about um, what lives up to our morals, integrities, values. Um, it also can be about love because Venus is Libra Taurus. So we'll see... Um, and it can be about the real things as well. So we'll see how this plays into your love reading. And I'm not an astrologist. I'm just here to read the energy. All right. The cards on the energy. So Gemini, summon rising Venus, male or female. General collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including, oops, the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip, switch, reverse the energies uh, if you need to. Cross watchers as well. Keep in mind if something shows up here you are not interested in and it may not be your reading this time don't twist it to fit it that's what i always say so welcome in gemini i hope you're all doing well staying safe and healthy at this time and happy early birthday i know your birthday is in about six days i am recording this on the 15th and the new moon is on the 19th so but it's almost your birthday time okay so we have the distorted masculine okay the rainbow reviver intimacy and self-respect so i do feel like you've been intimate with someone here but they were coming from a distorted energy but we do have the rainbow reviver here so i just want to read um rainbow reviver right here feeling good from the inside out is important no matter what is happening in your personal life so let's see if you have drawn this card today, it's because your angels and spirit guides would like you to use this simple technique whenever you need a cosmic hug. They even suggest that you put a picture of a rainbow on your mobile phone, computer, or in your wallet to remind you that of this lovely technique because life gets busy and it's easy to forget that help is at hand. So, so there, I mean, it's about being positive, and you know, the rainbow is about growth, expansion, luck. It's a happy energy as well. So it's about, you know, reviving your energy. So I kind of feel like, you know, maybe you were intimate with someone and you realized, well, they're not coming from the greatest of place here. You have your self-respect. So you may have put, you know, that boundary in place here. And I feel like you've definitely working on yourself, healing yourself at this time, Gemini. But we're going to see maybe the Rainbow Reviver, maybe there is a chance to revive this if this person comes back in a more respectful way if they've straightened themselves out so let's see let's see where this is going gemini everything you need to know gemini is down below your playlist is down there along with the list of eight love readings i do here if you are new you can check out that list see what you like and if you like generals check out my other channels listed below as well two generals per sign per month all right gemini so let's see, what does this all mean for you, Gemini? What's going on with this? Or it could be that maybe, you know, this person's coming back uh, with more, not only self-respect for themselves, but for you. And it could be being intimate on a whole new level as well. Let's see, what is going on here? Five of Cups in reverse. The Eight of Cups. Hmm. The Four of Coins. The Nine of Cups reversed. And the World reversed. So there's definitely something here about uh, something not being over between the two of you. Because we do have the World in reverse. And if it's also if they were been at a distance, it could be about them coming back. Because we have the Eight of Cups about leaving. World could be in reverse, them coming back maybe perhaps. But I mean the Five of Cups in reverse is really not sulking around and not feeling sadness, loss, or regret. Four of Coins definitely can be about holding it back, you know, resisting. Nine of Cups Reverse definitely is not a happy energy either, or somebody could be very overindulgent at this time. Let's just see what's on the bottom of the deck here. Two of Wands, Knight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Definitely a slow-moving energy here. I definitely feel like um, Gemini... This Knight of Swords could be you. Um, there's definitely a sense here of, yeah, a lot of confusion, illusion here with the Seven of Cups. This this is very confusing because I feel like it's all over the place. 
Somebody walked away, but yet they're not regretting it. Definitely somebody was holding back, but yet they're not happy either. Yet feeling like something here is not over between the two of you, whether it's you, it's them. So if this is the distorted masculine, I could see why, because they're like, well, I walked away, but I'm not really regretting it. I know I'm holding back, but yet I'm not happy either. I'm like, it, because the five of cups in reverse upright would be sadness, loss, regret. And it kind of gives me the nine of cups in reverse, gives me that energy as well. So I feel like this person's all over the place, but let's see, we have Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio. All right. Oh, yeah, I feel like this person's a mess, but let's see. Let's see what else we need to know about this for you, Gemini. What else do we need? And, you know, you could be in this energy, too, like a mess because of this whole situation. So let's see, Gemini, what else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for Gemini's situation here? Emperor. Well, there is the masculine, but they're upright. Six of Wands, success, victory. Hmm. Six of Cups, that is the return. The Fool, what a clean slate. Leap of Faith. Fresh new energy here. Knight of Coins in reverse. This could be like out of the blue, this person re returns in a whole new energy. This, uh, because we're going from distorted to now the masculine's upright with the Six of Wands. Six of Cups is the return. The Fool, no baggage. Energetic reset, clean slate. Knight of Coins in reverse is like the Knight of Swords upright. Very quick, out of the blue. So it could be that this person... Oh, my chair is going to... Sorry. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it could be this person, you know, was at a distance, walked away, whatever they needed to do. But now it's like they know exactly who they are and what they want. You could possibly, this could be the revival of being intimate on a whole new level here, where there's more respect involved now. Now, a lot of you are probably saying, no, I don't want that. It's probably not your reading. Um, but, I mean, I can't deny the energy here. I mean, the emperor and their power, successful. Six of Cups, a return, what a clean slate. I mean, I don't know how else to read that. So, and they could be realizing that they were acting foolish in the past as well. There could be children involved. Um, could be past life connection as well. King of Coins reverse in the Queen of Swords. I definitely feel like that could be you, Gemini, like telling this King of Coins who could have been noncommittal all over the place, just telling it like it is, like, hey, I love you, and if you want my love, look at all the love I have to give. You got to come back correct. Could be a newer connection, maybe for some, which maybe kind of sparked some kind of fear in them with the moon here, because then we have the sun, which is total illumination, happiness, joy, enlightenment, healing, love, and abundance. Ace of Swords reverse. So, yeah, they needed to go clear up their energy here. That is for sure. For sure. Yeah. So you could have went no contact on them, High Priestess. Here, page of wands. If they come, they got to come correct. Wow. Okay. So let's see. We have Taurus, Taurus, Aquarius, Aries. All right. Gemini. So let's see what else we need to know here. So is this come them? I want to get double clarification for you. Is this coming back? Them coming back um, in their power, clean slate, ready to live up to the connection. They know what they want now. So what's going on here? Or if it's not them, then somebody else is coming back here that knows what they want. But let's see. Ten of Swords, but there's something not over. Ten of Swords reverse. Well, there you are, Gemini, with the King of Swords. It's like you almost know that it's not over between us. But I have to do this. I have to cut, cut it off right here and set that boundary out of respect for myself until they figure their ish out. But I know it's not over between us. It's kind of what I feel. Five of Swords. Page of Swords. Wow, look at all the sword energy. The Five of Wands. I feel like you could have, because we got your energy right here, or maybe it's another air sign or another Gemini. I feel like you, you did this knowing, you know, I feel like it's not over between us. But 
I'm hoping I'm not sabotaging our connection with the Five of Swords here, but you definitely spoke your truth. I feel like you could have been conflicted about this, like, uh, I don't know if I should go about it this way, but I think you spoke your truth. You were very direct, blunt, clear, to the point, and said, I love you. If you do love me or you don't love me, I don't know. You need to go figure your stuff out because I can't have it this way. And if you can't come back correct, then I guess it's over. And you could have just went total command like no no more contact like just cold turkey and you're like oh my gosh now what if i sabotage the whole thing page of cups reversed four of point uh six of coins reversed definitely was not a balanced connection but we do have the tree of life here which can be you know past life roots run deep there's always room for growth expansion knight of wands could be them rushing back but you got to make sure they're in the right energy with the sun so it's like they've got the spark and fire of the sun under their butt, pushing them forward. <laughs> wow, so, hmm. So we got Gemini. This could be you, Gemini, or it could be Aquarius. All right, so let's see. All right, so let's see what else we need to know here for you, Gemini. What else do we need to know? For Gemini. What else do we need to know for Gemini? What else do we need to know for Gemini? Oh, Queen of Coins. Hierophant reverse, though. There's that Taurus energy that we're sitting in right now. Empress. Libra Taurus, more Taurus energy. Okay. Eight of Wands. Three of Swords. I, th I feel a little heartbroken, disappointment, disappointing energy here. Maybe you were hoping for them to come back sooner uh, with this Eight of Wands reverse. It's like you didn't see any maybe movement, action, travel, communication, or whatever um, longer than you anticipated. So maybe you were losing hope with the Faith in reverse, like losing faith. But, I mean, the Queen of Pentacles is very, you know, male or female, don't matter, stable, grounded, committed kind of energy, trustworthy kind of energy. So I think you were very, like, you were coming from a good place. I'm not saying that they weren't, but they were just messed up. So you kind of, like, like gave on them the truth. Maybe no one's ever done that before. Maybe you just gave them the truth. And now you're worried, oh my gosh, maybe I ruined this whole thing. I just heard that if they come back and now you get back together, you're going to be intimate in a whole new level. I feel like they're going to really respect you for doing that. Because we have the Empress here. So we got the distorted masculine, but the Empress in her power and like creating this and saying, okay, this is what needs to happen here. And hopefully this will rebirth the connection. And But I do see the disappointment losing faith. Like, okay, maybe it's not going to happen. But the Empress does birth new life into things or gives birth to new things. And that's the Divine Feminine Energy. So we do have Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, Taurus. Seven of Pentacles. So, so, you know, waiting. You know, there's a period of waiting here. Palace of Wands. In reverse, though. So kind of losing the fire, the passion, the hope, maybe the faith. Seven of Cups, a little illusioned here. But we do have some sort of movement here with the Six of Swords. Ten of Wands, so maybe someone contending with their baggage or whatever it may be. A little bit of um, anxiety here could be on your part in the Palace of Swords. So some kind of truth could be happening here too that could lead to reuniting. But let's see. All right. Oh, my cat wants to go out. So let's see what else we need to know here for Gemini. What else do we need to know for Gemini? What else do we need to know for Gemini? So let's see um, like if this comes back together. Because we do have the Reviver, which is kind of like a revival. So how does it look, uh, this coming back together? That's kind of what I want to know here. Oh, Palace of Coins. This could be about commitment. Just saying. Palace of Wands reverse. Huh. So you got the two palace cards here. Nine of coins. 
Page of Coins reversed. Seven of Swords, huh? So, mm, wow, this is Moon. All right, let's get a little more clarification here because this is. But we do have here uh, Capricorn showing up. So why is all this energy here? Let's get a little more clarification. Chariot. So there's going to be movement forward at Ten of Coins. Queen of Cups. Wow. I what I kind of feel like here, Palace of Wands, about the fire, the passion, desire, holding back on that could lead to a more stable energy here. We do have the Nine of Coins, which is a single energy, which also is about abundance and having everything we need. Page of Coins, um, you may be feeling like it's not really the stablest or, um, sorry, you got to let the cat out, the stablest kind of offer maybe they're coming back with or if you could trust them again. So you may have some trust issues here with the Seven of Swords and the Page of Pentacles reversed. But I ask for more clarification. I mean, we do have Chariot, Positive Movement Forward, Success, Victory, Balance to the Ten of Coins, which could be like total commitment, long-term wealth, growth, abundance, maybe even marriage and love. So there is love here. And the Queen of Wands, Strength. So it's about being strong defiant and maybe holding out on the passion a little bit here but it is a strong connection that cannot be denied and this also could be about overcoming as well past life wow so do have aries leo cancer cancer showing up too and the eight of swords so the energy feels stuck right now you're definitely not together with the two of cups reverse so there's a lot of wondering about this what's going to happen there's a promise of a new beginning here if you want it to be as someone shedding their old skin here, doing a lot of healing, rest, recovery. Someone is contending to their battle wounds. And then this could be, you know, starting over, courting, dating, getting to know, moving forward with, you know, love, compassion, healing. And the Knight of Wands, High Priestess, yeah. So in the end, it's totally going to be up to you, Gemini. But there is a chance to revive this. And it could be more respectful, intimate on a whole new level. But this masculine definitely had to sort their stuff out. All right, so let's see what else we need to know here. If this does resonate for you, Gemini, you definitely can like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, all that great stuff. Be greatly, greatly appreciated, and I thank you. Support all your favorite readers because we're not really getting supported on this platform. I don't know why. So the more you can support, be greatly, greatly appreciated. All right. And again, everything you need is below. All right, Gemini. So let's see what else do we need to know here for Gemini. Nature spirits. Hmm. Okay. Tribal spirit dancer. I'm probably going to read you a little bit of these cards. Spirit keeper of the north. Do I have the moon there? It is a full moon now, but ancient forest. <laughs> wow and spirit of fire so you could be dealing with a fire sign um doesn't have to be though but fire is very ambitious brave go-getting determined fiery passionate kind of energy as well so there may me may need it be here to kind of resist that fire and temptation but let's just see here um nature spirits i want to Joy, delight, peaks of carefree abandon, living wildly, magically and free, be open to the wonders of the universe flooding into your life. Innocence and delight are abounding. Happiness is on its way. Wow. And then we have um, Spirit Keeper of the North. Take time for contemplation. Turn within. Connect with your ancestors. Incubate ideas. Mend relationships. Watch your dreams. Meditate. The answers are inside you waiting to be heard. Stay warm. Create dreams for your future. Repair whatever is broken in your home and in your life. Forgive those people and situations that you've been dragging around for a while. And let's see. Let's see what ancient forest has to say. I believe that's about like ancient knowledge, wisdom kind of energy. But let's is that the first card. Nope. Ancient forest is the second one. So it could be about a second chance. 
your roots go deep. I mean, we did see the tree of life at one point. Incredible radiant healing strength is available to you and grows within you. Do not doubt your abilities. There are so much more than you can possibly imagine. There is immense unseen but very real support around you. You are loved and cherished. You are grounded, stable, and strong as your spirit reaches high into the heavens. Hmm. A tribal dancer. Let's just see. I want to see what that has to say. Tribal spirit dancer. Let go. Say yes to life. Be daring. Dance to your heart's desire. Unfurl your wings and fly. Cast aside conventions and restrictions. Tune into the rhythm of life. Laugh. Explore. Go beyond your predictable behavior. Sometimes life is messy and chaotic, and that's okay. Leave the dishes. Run outside in the sprinklers. <laughs> so, I kind of feel it like feeling like here um, that this could really, you know, turn itself around. If you choose to, if it comes back around Gemini, I really do. But that's going to be totally, totally up to you. Anyway, Gemini, I am wishing you the best, and I hope to see you next time.